Hey guys, so today's video is on this look. It is pretty easy, no um, eyeliner or anything. There is just a lot of blending patience because there is so much black on your lids. But your eyelashes are pink and so it's kind of a reversed look. It's really cool. And then I am showing you three different bold lips that will go with it. So very fun look, fun to do, cool video. So if you want to see how to do this up, then please keep watching. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is put on something nice and moisturizing onto your lips because with this look and these bold lips, you definitely do not want chapped lips because they are going to show like crazy. Okay, so I've primed my eyes and I'm going to take just any color that matches your skin tone really well and put that all over the lid up to the brow bone and that will help all these super dark colors blend together. So I'm using Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. Okay, and then take a gray eyeshadow. I am using the Up in Smoke palette um, from Sonia Kashuk. But I'm gonna use this one over here. It's like the lightest gray in the palette. And I'm going to put this low in my crease. and then start to work it up as I don't have as much product on the brush anymore. Okay, and then I'm going to take Carbon from MAC. Um, it is super, super black, but I think it's very like dry. So it's not as like, I don't know, as pigmented as the black that I'm going to put on my lid, um, so it's a little easier to kind of make it more gray toned than just like super black. So I'm going to take um, the same fluffy brush that I used to put on Peach Smoothie and then that gray from Santa Kushak. It's my E40. And I'm going to start with a dab instead of like a big old dippy swirl because it's easier to add with black, and it's a lot harder to take away with black, so just little baby steps at a time. And same thing, I'm putting this low into my crease, and then as I lose the product, work it up. And because carbon is so dry, it makes it a little bit easier to work with than like a super crazy black that just wants to be black and it doesn't allow you to really blend it so well. So I do like carbon for that. So once you get like a nice gray in your crease, a nice smoky blendable gray, go ahead and grab a gel eyeliner. I'm gonna use um, eggplant from Maybelline New York Eye Studio. They do also have this in Black is Black. Um, if you have that, use that. I have ran out, but this will also work. And I am just using a super stiff domed brush. This one is actually from ELF. And um, it says contour brush on it. Yeah, this means for your nose. They have weird brushes, they mean weird things. But I like this one for actually applying this gel liner onto the lid because it's nice and stiff. And this liner is like a little bit sticky, so it picks up and it holds um, the 
eyeshadow very well. And just apply it all over your lid. I actually don't like this eggplant gel liner as an eyeliner because it doesn't go on very well. But if you want to use it as an eyeshadow like this, it's great actually. And Halloween is coming, so if you want to put this on your eyes just like this and then underneath and then dab like some red, some wax over it and really work it into a bruised look. Depending on like if you want to be a zombie or you know whatever. That is a good technique to use. Okay, so now that that is on there, grab the most pigmented super black that you got and a flat brush and you're going to pat it on there. Put it everywhere that you put that purple and you want to pat and dab it because that will give you the most intense black. Once you get that nice line, kind of dig your brush into your crease there and go back and forth with uh, windshield wiper motion, mo motions and uh, that'll kind of start to help blend it out. I never told you, so the black that I'm using is from the Kat Von D Monarch pal palette, of course, huh? And it is called Wrath. And I always say that I like kind of almost a sharp line when I use these bold colors, but black is not one of those colors that you want a sharp line because that is way too intense. You're going to look like you have a black eye you really do want to blend black out. So I take like this little pencil brush and then after doing those windshield wiper motions, which helps a lot, finish it off by taking this and then just kind of doing these small quick strokes upward. And then take a fluffy brush and Blend that out on that brow bone there. And then I just go in and I re-intensify maybe the black on my lids, um, kind of try to even out the blending on both eyes a little bit. You know, one always looks better than the other. So it just takes some time doing that. Okay, and now go in with, which I totally don't have ready, like a Q-tip and some makeup remover and just kind of clean up under the eye here. Um, don't do the tape thing because it is more of a smoky eye so you don't want this sharp line. Um, but doing it this way with the Q-tip, just kind of gently cleans it up without being too harsh of a crazy line. Okay, and then I just take the flat brush that I was using to apply the black and take the very, very edge of it and just kind of tap out those harsh lines that you just uh, created just so they stay a little bit more smoky and not so sharp edged. So you definitely do your foundation second on this look because you will have a ton of fallout anytime you use black, especially. So now, I still take my Better Than Sex Mascara because it does thicken and lengthen your lashes and I'll put on like one little coat of that and then I'll go in and put in a wink of pink from Maybelline and then while it's still a little bit wet, go in with the pink one. So this is a limited edition color, so um, like I've probably had it for a year, if not more. So 
So hopefully you have something like this. I think Sephora might make different colored mascaras like this. Maybelline comes out with them a lot in the summertime. Um, otherwise, you can go get a few lashes. You can go get some lashes, you know, some $3 Ardells from Target or wherever. And you can paint them pink. All kinds of options. Especially now with Halloween coming, they have all kinds of crazy colored lashes. I get most of my wardrobe for the whole year at Halloween time. But I don't apply the black mascara to the bottom lashes because it just doesn't need it. Um, the pink mascara just isn't truly mascara. It doesn't really add volume or length to your lashes. It's just for color. So it's okay to go directly onto the bottom. Lashes by itself at the top, you're gonna need that black first just for a little bit more volume and length first. Okay, so I'm gonna do my foundation and I always take, take Fix Plus and spray that all over my face for some added moisture. I made that look really hard. And you can't really see, but that's my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. I just squirt that on the back of my hand so that I could add a little bit more to the brush. That's the F80 Kabuki from Sigma. And I, just so that I can pick up more as I need it and it just works really well. And I love how this brush puts on foundation so smoothly and evenly. And I have started doing this right here around the corners of my mouth because I feel like I've been seeing like a little bit of cracking right there or missing foundation just from smiling and other facial faces that I make. And I'm just doing my contouring so I went off camera for that because you've seen me put dots all over my face. And this is like one of those really tiny beauty blenders and I just go around and just take off all the excess foundation when it's damp because I hate having too much foundation on. I don't like how that looks at all. But this is a little teeny tiny one and oops. Um, it just doesn't work for this. That's why I'm rolling it around like an idiot. I do love it to conceal with, though. It just fits so perfectly, you know, under your eyes and down the bridge of your nose. Because it's so tiny. And I just did my eyebrows while I was off camera concealing as well. So now take that nice bright white shimmery color in the up and smoke, I believe it's called, from Sonia Kashuk palette and just apply it to the high points of your brow bone, or brow, and then blend it out throughout your brow bone down to the gray and everything. But we can skip the other eye because you get the point. And I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I almost always blend one of those bottom three colors together and I'm taking my NARS Eda brush to contour. I always say I'm going to start contouring with a different brush and trying it out but I'm obsessed with this brush so what can I say? So I put it right into the hollow of my cheek right there where I can really see it and I just define that out and then I start wiggling the brush up and down to diffuse that harsh line and then I bring it down towards the corner of my mouth pretty much to like where my corner outer corner of my eye is and then I kind of round it out I don't know if you saw that to like round out the apple of my cheek a little bit more and that side is always darker that's why I was like rubbing it off and then when I'm contouring my nose right there I pretty much just do it because sometimes I feel like my septum rings are really big and I look like a bull, so I try to make my nose look a little bit smaller there in the tip. 
and then I have to contour my big ass forehead try to make it look smaller plus if you do your cheeks you have to do your forehead because you just look funny and then I'm just trying to make my jaw bones look smaller because sometimes I think I look like Jay Leno and now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me blush in medium nude. I've had this forever. And I just use the little brush that comes with it because I don't really care. But it's a very natural blush um, that just adds like a little bit of color and shimmer that for like a really dark look like this I want to be more natural so I just use something like this and I did not highlight with this look. So I'm going to go in with back to my Sonia Keshek little quad palette. I'm going to go in with this darker gray and my little pencil brush and I'm just going to apply that on my bottom lash line. And I'm going to go up and connect it with the black up here a little bit. And this is like a nice medium gray in between the lighter gray and the black. So it helps to just finish the look. And then I'm going to go back in with that really light gray. And I'm just going to apply a tiny bit here to the inner corners. Earlier the fallout left me this black here which I usually leave because I like it. But I do think it needs to have a little bit of shimmer blended in there as well. And I don't want to go stark white because I think that's just like way too much. So I think the gray is a nice in between there. Okay, so option number one, in case you think the eyes are too much, just a nice hot pink to match your lashes. And this is from Maybelline, number 680, Mesmerizing Magenta. And then I took a black into the corners and ombre that out. And this is just from Wet n Wild. The Kat Von D black would be way better, especially if you want to do this all out black lip. So there's your three options, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you feel inspired.